Understanding the weather can be quite complex. Most people understand it in its simplest forms, hot, cold, windy, rainy or sunny. But have you ever wondered how do scientists actually calculate the weather? It takes the help of supercomputers and in Kenya, the IGPA Climate Center uses them to provide regional climate and weather services to 11 countries across East Africa. A supercomputer is a, is a computer with a higher capacity and we use it for a, a job and tasks that are computationally demanding. And we use it for seasonal forecasts, for monthly forecasts and for 10 days forecast. Predicting daily weather and long-term climate patterns require the use of computers to calculate various weather parameters such as wind speed, temperature, atmospheric pressure and rainfall. Information from weather stations and satellites feed into a mathematical model. The model solves a set of equations that describe the physics of the atmosphere. Without a supercomputer, it will take months to produce a single one-day focus for the region. We do climate services, basically seasonal forecasts, 10 days forecast of climate, and the implications that those forecasts have for, for the climate sensitive sectors within the region. We got funding uh, to be able to run numerical weather prediction models, to interpret uh, these models for uh, and give information to disaster risk management. We bought computers for countries, mainly to have data processing, archiving, and also to be able to access the global models and products. Thanks to its partnership with UNECA and the African Union Commission and funding from the Nordic Fund, the Swedish Development Corporation Agency and the European Union, the Klimdev Fund at the African Development Bank helps countries to produce critical climate and weather information. This is one of the labs funded by the African Development Bank, well and quite equipped with computers, projector and we use it for training of uh, staff from the National Meteorological and Hydrological Services in the region. We use it also to host uh, research scientists from uh, member states and from abroad, and it is also used by uh, scientists from the ICPAC. Claim the Fund, powering Africa's access to climate information since 2009.